All right, guys, he's in here. Welcome back to the channel for another Street Fighter Duel video. And this is part two. In the fair and balanced review of the event. In the last event, I had my free to play hat on. In this event, I've turned my hat back round to the paying player. And the opinion changes. Vastly changes because it is a vastly different experience. Which I get that there's different groups of players and different groups of players often experience different things within the game. I would argue the one thing they do not experience differently though is the actual event, right? What I mean by that is, when you do an event and you're free to play, the rewards you get from that event, whether it's tickets, whether it's free copies of the unit, whatever, they hold the same value to you as a free to play as they do to me and others as a spending player because at that point you're doing things like you're budgeting okay if i'm going to summon i'm going to get one or two copies of the unit from here i'm going to be able to buy the pass and get one or two copies of the unit which means when i'm summoning i only need this amount of copies but if i can rank on the leaderboard if i can do this if i can do that i might not need to summon as much so your rewards you get during an event are, are actually completely valid for that event. They are valuable to you within that event. And again, whether you are free to play or whether you are a paying player, you gain the same from the event, okay? As much as people want, might want to try and come at me and say that's not the case, that is the case, right? That's not the case here, right? So, straight up. Yeah. Depending on your view on this, yeah, could say it's good, could say it's bad. I mean, I can't actually say it's bad, to be honest, but came in, gift growth pack, I got all of that straight off the bat, right? So I got straight up all of that. So I got one, two, three, four, four dupes of the turtles, right? Four dupes of the turtles. Four times. So at 16, I get 16 copies of the turtles. Now bear in mind, Mines were done. They were no use to me, right? So, 60... No, that's a lie. Sorry, I, I needed two Michelangelo. So, Michelangelo is now SSS5. So, that's the one shining light from this, right? So, 16 copies of the Turtles. Two of them I used. Left maybe 14 copies of the Turtles, right? Now, some people would have been disappointed in that because they're like, well, what am I going to do with that? I, I, I can't actually say that I was disappointed with that. The reason being, those copies of the Turtles allowed me to get her up to SS, S, she was S, she was S, um, I think she may have been, I might, I might have had one sitting there though, so she was like S plus I had one copy, so she's now SSS, and I mean, I literally had her at A, so I've got her all the way up there, and maybe we'll get her to SSS before the end of the event, I can't really say that's a negative, right? Apart from the exchange rate, like the exchange rate's crazy, but, but, I mean, I did get something from it, so I, I personally can't really say that that was bad, because I just logged in and got that. Yeah, okay, ultimately I got three copies of Sakura, and I got, what, four, five, huh, or something like that, I think, um, for a lot more units, because I didn't just trade those 14 units. I've pulled the turtles four, maybe five times, plus I got two from the pity, plus I got one from the box, so all in, I think, 14, 15, 16, 17, maybe about 22, 22, 24, somewhere in the 22, 24 range, I've traded away, and I think all in, I got one, two, three, four, five, five poisons, and one, two, three Securas. So I guess eight units, eight units in exchange for 24 units. I because I can count it. Eight units in exchange for 24 units. And technically speaking, hmm, it was actually not all from the Turtles event because I did, I did go to here. I did refresh my city shop and I got jewelry. I had two turtles, I needed one more unit to do a trade, so I took jury and that gave me the trade, right? So you can value that yourself. Is trading 24 units to get eight units a good deal? 
I mean, on paper it's probably not, but what else are you going to do? So there's the positive, right? Depending on how you look at it, that's that's the positive. But where's the negative? Honestly, if you are someone who is a player who's got the units done, it's all negative, right? And I'll, I'll be honest, I don't want to come across like pure poo-pooing on this rerun, but they actually had something they could have done to make this better, and they didn't do it. I don't understand why they didn't do it. In the Devil May Cry event, they made the box. Same idea as here, right? Exact same idea as here. They made the box, but it had Nero, it had, sorry, it had Virgil, it had Dante, and it had 50 tickets, 50 red tickets, which gave people who had already done all this, it had given them something as a reward for the event. They've not done that here. They've just straight up only given you the turtles. I must admit, at the back of my head, I hoped, I thought that, do you know what? There's a lot of people, a lot of people who are not going to get anything from this event. If they do that reward box thing, that's something. They've not done it. I, I, I can't believe they've not done it, but they've not done it. They've just done this. And honestly, I, I, I do think that's very disappointing. Because now, ultimately, it means you've got two options. By the way, even here, even the grant, it's the same. The box is the same, they didn't do the 50 ticket thing. So, immediately, if you're someone who's got the turtles done, i.e. your whales, you're not going to get their money. Because, I mean, some people might buy it. I, I doubt it though, but they might. But you're not going to sell a lot of that, put it that way, right? Every single event, part of this event, is now literally just geared towards giving you more of the units you've already got maxed out, right? So if I go to here, and I go to here, 20 tickets, right? Which, okay, that's that's great, right? 20 tickets. 20 tickets of units that are maxed out if you're a paying player or a whale. Even, even if you're a dolphin, with the amount of you've now got of these units, you're probably maxed and you don't need them anymore. So it's not even just whales, it's like mid spenders, will probably already now be facing this as well, right? So all your rewards are going to be these tickets, right? If we go and we look at the crossover event, all your rewards are tickets. Yes, okay, you get the other materials and stuff, but the main bulk is the tickets, right? The, the green tickets. If you go to this one, sorry, this one here, it was all green tickets. These were all green tickets. If you go to the cyborg attack, not only are you getting the box with the dupes that don't have the 50 tickets, you're getting more green tickets. So your options are like super limited to the point where either you pull for dupes and you take part in a ridiculously, ridiculously expensive exchange, right? Or you let them expire and you get yourself some diamonds that honestly the exchange rate on the diamonds are terrible. <coughs> I mean, if you let 10 of them expire, it's what? 500 diamonds per ticket, so you would get, what, 5,000 diamonds or 10. If you were to have let every single ticket expire, you would have got, what, 50,000? So far, like, just for the, what was it, 10 ticket, uh, 100 tickets, that would have been 50k. And I think I worked it out to, I think it was 130, 140. That would be what 75 to 80k in diamonds, which if you look at that in divination terms, that's what 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, 15, 16 multis. Which I mean, yeah, okay, that's that's not the worst thing in the world, but your other option is you do the exchange, which I'm I'm fine with the exchange, because it's better than nothing, right? But I do think the exchange is kind of slightly weighted in the unfair realm. The reason I say that is because if we go in here and we go to here and we go to substitute, now I can't do it right now because I don't have any left. But what happens is you choose a fighter and you'll notice if you look here, you cannot choose any special summon characters, which, okay, I guess that makes sense because this was made before the special summon system existed. 
but you can't choose any special summon units. Even if you have them unlocked in Divination, you cannot use special summon, you cannot pick special summon units. If I do that, you now need to trade three characters, okay? And you can trade Master or Inferno. When this was designed, this was designed as a, a like for like situation, i.e. to get Divination or well, to get Divination characters, you had to use Divination characters, so you couldn't use standard factional characters. So they decided the exchange rate is one Divination character in exchange for three of your excess Divination characters, okay? Now, I think we all agree the game has assigned a higher value to SS characters, special summon characters. So I don't think it should be three to one when you're trading special summon characters. I think if you're trading a special summon character and you're only allowed to choose divination characters, a two to one ratio would probably be more fair, right? But it's not, we've got to live with it. And that's why ultimately I don't think it's that great, but I suppose it's better than a kick in the balls, right? But as a whale, you're not going to get a lot from this. And I've already had a couple of DMs. I'm not going to like name names or anything because I know some people are going to say, well, that was their fault. But I know people who messaged me during the event and they said to me, oh, I'm only, I'm only one level away from getting this next free unit from the growth pack. I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to spend that to, to get that unit because this is a limited time event. We never know if it's going to come back because remember when they done the turtles, I don't think we'd ever had a collab rerun, right? So it honestly seemed like something that wasn't ever going to happen because we thought by that point, if they were going to do collab reruns, they would probably have done Monster Hunter Ken because remember they put Monster Hunter Ken out over on the SEA version of the game and we didn't get a rerun. And most people at that point thought We'll probably never see reruns. So, honestly, I can't really blame people who got the whole normal gacha thing of I need to finish off this unit. And you know what? If a unit returns after a year, it's not really a big deal. But if a unit returns after three months, I can now see why people are messaging me to say my confidence in spending for things like this has now gone out the window because I probably went harder than I should. I, I know I went harder than I should. But I went harder than I should because they were limited time. They weren't going to come back anytime soon, if at all. And not only did they come back soon, the smartest play for any player who was a spender was to stop at SS2. SSS2, stopped at SSS2. You're, you're sitting right now laughing because you've pretty much almost guaranteed yourself that you've got them all done to SSS5 without having to spend because you'll have picked up the multiple copies from your growth packs okay that will have pushed you on you will have picked up some from the event you'll also have the option that you can pick up the passes and just from gameplay now you're probably going to get them done right so I can see why it's off-putting now ultimately you make the choice yourself that's the only thing i can say to that nobody forces you to do that you did decide to buy the units but when it's positioned to you as limited time probably not going to return anytime soon i can see why you would be upset because let's be real here how much benefit did, did you get in that time yeah okay sure you, you probably did rank quite well right you probably probably did but would it ultimately have made that much of a difference to you? I mean, I know for me, without the turtles, I probably would have still ranked first, second, third. I never use them in PvP. I don't think they're that great in PvP. They're okay, but they're not great. Would it have made more sense to hold out and try and get them as free as possible? Absolutely, absolutely. But that, that's not really what I'm concerned about with the rerun. I'm concerned about the fact that from the stance of gameplay, there's, there's nothing to aim for here. I mean, unless your aim is to literally be quite happy to trade three copies for one, which I've resigned myself to being happy with, there's not a lot here to aim for. And like I say, they already made it accessible. They, 
they done it with the Devil May Cry event. And it was just as simple as, in this box, you would choose one of the turtles, or you would have chose the 50 summoning tickets. I do not get why they never done that. Because even during the Devil May Cry event, we ended up with a lot of tickets that ultimately, if you had the units maxed out, they weren't a lot of good to you, right? But you still had these two boxes, and these two boxes gave you enough rewards that was like, well, I've not missed out. So yeah, awesome. I'm going to take part. This is great. I'm going to keep going. But this one, they've not done that. And it is just literally, okay, let's just go and get border stuff, you know? Again, it just feels really tacked on. I think they could have done something here. I, I really think they should have done something here. They had established before what they could have done with the Devil May Cry event, and they've not done it for this one. And it just seems like a massive miss to me. It seems like a massive miss, even just as simple as this. Like, if you had that box, the same as the Devil May Cry event, it means that spenders who do spend, who regularly top up the coffers and allow the game to keep going, would probably buy it because you would get the 50 tickets and now most spenders unless they're desperate like honestly unless they're absolutely desperate to get like say these scrolls or something i don't see this selling not not the way it has in the past and they've shot themselves in the foot big style there and i already know that <clears throat> because of dms and stuff like that there's a bit of animosity regarding this people feel a bit screwed over I don't, strictly speaking, agree with that take because, again, nobody forced anyone to buy them, right? But, just with standard norms, this doesn't happen. This, what we're seeing right now, it doesn't happen. People will come back and they will talk nonsense and say there's gachas that put out collab reruns every couple of months. No, they don't, right? I've got my own Discord. My Discord is actually filled with people who play gacha games they just don't play street fighter right <laughs> honestly that's why i'm on my discord that much because like honestly the game that i cover is the one game that nobody plays but these people play a wealth of gacha games i've played a wealth of gacha games and the norm is either collabs don't return or they return about a year later having one return this quickly is very rare right and if you knew that there was a strong possibility that um collabs were going to return that quickly no one would break their back trying to get units, or break their wallet, sorry, their bank balance, trying to get units done first time around, because they would just wait to the next time around, get a bunch of free-to-play copies, finish them off, and they would save themselves an absolute fortune. So, I can I can get why people feel the way that they feel. Um, I kind of sensed it would happen, but honestly, at the back of my mind, I did think they would actually do the 50 ticket thing in the box. I really did. Um, but they've not, and from the spending cap point of view this is a miss this is a huge miss absolutely is a huge miss and it's unfortunate tier two take tier two player bases there and while i know a lot of people from the free to play point of view are going to disagree with me i still don't think anyone should be getting a two tier experience from an event every other event whether it's v vega or bison whatever the copy you get from here is useful to everyone. The tickets are useful to everyone. There's there's nothing in a standard event, whether you spend or not, that isn't useful to you. So this event is not the same. And that is ultimately why I think it is a massive miss for probably a small portion of the player base because what's well, real here, that is the, the spending side is the smaller portion so there's not going to be a massive uproar about this you probably won't hear too many complaints about it but keep an eye on revenue because unfortunately when it comes down to it people who spend tend to vote with a wallet and we'll see how it plays out but i do think that it's a massive miss it was very easy to fix just do the thing with the box again 10 tickets sorted as it stands right now I'm, me personally, I'm basically just now trying to get more dupes for that um, Summer Poison. So I need to get another three turtles just to make one of her. Six in total. Maybe I'll get her to S+. Plus. SS+, plus, who knows? Seems like a big ask, but that's what I'm getting at. You know? Even now, it's like I could, in theory, because I'm going to get one more copy from Cyborg Attack, I could buy the grant. 
and that one copy from Cyborg Attack plus two copies from the Grand, I can trade that for one Summer Poison. But why would I do that? Because maybe in a month's time, two months time, maybe even be three months time, you've got top packs. Top picks, buy all the top picks, get all that extra stuff. 25 bucks is the cheapest way to do it, and then you could get yourself a copy of Poison. She's going to show up soon-ish in things like Rose's Divination event and uh, Labyrinth and stuff. There's no need to do it. It's literally only happening because what else am I going to do? So that's why I think ultimately this is a bit of a miss, depending on what type of player you are. So, Taylor 2 videos, one positive, one not overwhelmingly negative, but mainly negative. Let me know your thoughts on it. Um, when you comment, all I would say is, try to do what I've done, if you can. Try and look at it from both points of view, because there is no doubt in my mind that this is an absolute win for the free-to-play play players, which is great. Absolutely, it is great. It's a massive loss if you're a spender. My issue there is, there's somewhere in between where they can cater to both. And honestly, simply putting the red tickets in the box would have done that. So, I don't know why my game just decided it's going to die. Oh, it kicked me out. So while my game reboots after killing me, I will go and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.